Campaign 2022, as Election Day gets a little closer, we're profiling the candidates in the congressional races. Yeah, we're up to the 4th District. Uh, Channel 3 Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff explores what both parties are planning to do if they win. Connecticut's 4th Congressional District is in the southwestern part of the state, and a large part of it is Fairfield County. Congressman Jim Himes is seeking re-election. He's represented this district since 2009. My goals don't change a lot over time. Number one um, is really addressing the transportation infrastructure problem uh, in the state, but also very much in my district. Himes says Democrats have succeeded in improving transportation. Billions of dollars are coming into Connecticut for roadways and bridges. This is due to President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure bill. His other priorities include protecting a woman's right to choose, reducing inflation, and improving health care. We still have health care challenges. I was delighted to be part of actually reducing health care costs for our senior citizens by allowing Medicare to negotiate with the drug companies for better prices. Heim says Democrats also came through on getting caps on insulin prices. He's really in Washington now to vote with his leadership. Republican challenger Jamie Stevenson feels it's time for a change. And for her, the economy and inflation are most important. Stevenson was Darianne's first selectman for more than 10 years. She was chairman of the Western Connecticut Council of Governments. Her other priorities, making the U.S. more energy efficient, working towards clean energy goals, but supporting businesses while we achieve those goals. Drugs and crime are also important. I don't hear Congressman Himes or the Connecticut delegation talking about the fact that fentanyl is tearing our communities apart. Himes says he spent time in Colombia working on counter narcotics. He was also in Mexico. He says we need to focus not only on the source where it's coming from, but the demand. Fentanyl is a huge issue. Um, it's killing over 100,000 Americans a year at this point, and that number's not going down. And I'm sad that the opposition party, the Republicans, feel the need to politicize this because that number has been growing through Democratic and Republican administrations. And that was Susan Raff reporting. You know